Good morning, everyone. The prophet Haggai had a good word for a couple of sets of people uh, upon their return from exile in Babylon. Uh, the people were not prospering, and uh, Haggai told the people, well, the reason you're not prospering is, is because you're entirely focused on your own homes and your personal lives, and you're neglecting the house of the Lord. And so the people heard this, and, and they responded, and they supported the rebuilding of the temple. There were some elderly folks who either had memories, if they were very old, of the temple prior to its destruction, um, or perhaps they had heard lots of stories from their parents uh, about the glory of the temple, and they looked upon the new temple when it was completed, and they were rather disappointed. And Haggai told them to take courage, uh, that the Spirit of the Lord was with them, and that they had nothing to fear, and that God was going to shake up the heavens and the earth and do wonderful things for them. Um, churches are in, are in a time of, of great transition and rebuilding uh, right now, and, and churches need your support. Whatever church you're a part of, um, please consider joining the rebuilding, because uh, just like the people in, in Haggai's day, uh, people are very much focused on, on rebuilding their own lives post-COVID. We've gone through our own kind of exile period and trial period, and people are focused on how do I get my life back to normal? But Haggai's word to us today is to, um, to not neglect the house of the Lord. Um, the Lord is going to do wonderful things, and he's going to bring you prosperity and fulfillment uh, if you're willing to, to commit to life in Christ Jesus. And that life uh, is, yes, happening in your homes. And when you commit to the temple of your own body um, and discipleship in your homes uh, and prayer in your heart, uh, you're going to find fulfillment, but you also need to commit uh, to, to the church, to others uh, who are committed to Jesus and, and working together to further the kingdom here on earth. Um, those of you who are longing for the past, take courage. I know you're sort of... Uh, feeling like, where is the church going? What's going on? Things seem to be in such decline. And God's word to you is to take courage. The Spirit of the Lord is with you. You have nothing to fear. God is going to shake up the heavens and the earth and do wonderful things. And in fact, many of those wonderful things are already happening in China and Africa and Latin America, and it can happen here in America again. I encourage you to be part of a, a third great renewal here in America by supporting your local churches and committing to discipleship. Wonderful things are going to happen to you personally, in your homes, and in your communities if you're willing to do so. God bless and keep you, and thank you so much for your consideration.